welcome to your video on quadratic functions. You will be able to graph quadratic functions that are in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. How does the b term affect a parabola? That is the question. Um, I have given you three graphs here in which to compare. And as you can see, the B term has changed in each of these examples just by two. Um, the A term hasn't changed at all. So we're focusing on what happens when that B term changes. Now if you look at the axis of symmetries on these, you can see um, that they did in fact change. And the axis of symmetry is related to the ratio of B to A. Um, so your equation is 2x squared plus 2x, so the b to a ratio in this case would be 2 over 2, which is in fact 1. Um, in this case, the b to a ratio would be 4 over 2, which is in fact just 2. And then same with here, b over a, it is 6 over 2 equals 3. Um, and then you can see kind of what happens here. The axis of symmetry is 1 over 2, uh, or negative 1 over 2, and then this one is negative 1, which is also negative 2 over 2, and then the third one here is negative 3 over 2, and so you can kind of see here that um, what's happening is you're taking that opposite of the B term, and then it is being multiplied by your 2A. Um, so if I were to take this opposite of 1 is negative 1 over 2 times my a, I would then get 2, and then opposite, and then times 2 um, would give me negative 2 over 2, which is 1, which is what your um, uh, line of symmetry is, and then opposite of 3 over times 2 would be 3 over 2, and that's how you get that. So in other words, you're finding, in order to find your axis of symmetry, it's the opposite of your b over your 2 times your a term. Uh, in other words, the axis of symmetry is x equals uh, the opposite of b, so the opposite of your b term, divided by 2 times your a term. Um, by doing that, that will give you your um, axis of symmetry. The x-coordinate of the vertex is the opposite of b over 2a. Obviously, that's true because the axis of symmetry is found at the vertex. Um, and so when you find the opposite of b over 2a, you are finding, in fact, that x-coordinate. And last but not least, the y-intercept is, in fact, your c-term. Um, because and that's because when you plug in 0 for your x values, everything because of multiplication is eliminated except for that c term, which will give you 0 and then whatever that c term is. How do I graph y equals ax squared plus bx plus c? You have your equation here. Um, the first thing you need to do is find that uh, vert, um, sorry, line of symmetry. So in order to do that, I'm going to take x equals the opposite of b over 2a. So the opposite of b is negative 6, and then um, 2 times 1, which will give me an answer of 3. So my line of symmetry is x equals 3, and I'm going to plot that right now so that you can see that. Um, it'll be this line right here. Um, and then from there, we can know that our the x-coordinate in our um, vertex is 3, so we have to find our y, and how we do that is plugging in a 3 for our x value, and then solving, so we get y equals, so 3 squared is 9, minus 18 plus 4 will give you negative 5, so my vertex is 3, negative 5, and I'll plot that as well. And that's going to be obviously right on that line of symmetry, and it should be. And then the last piece is to find other points on your graph. Um, so what you're going to do is, first of all, you want to find use the y-intercept. Um, 
so plugging in 0 for everything, so 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 4. Obviously, you're just left with your C term there. So your coordinate is 0, 4. Plot that. And then you'll want to pick something on the same side as that. Um, so like I could pick 1 or 2 for x. Um, in this case, I'm just going to pick um, 1, just because it's a little bit easier. So 1 y equals 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 4. So 1 minus 6 plus 4 y equals negative 1, so my point will be 1, negative 1, which is here, and then I can mirror everything. So I have a point here, and a point here, and then I can connect these all together, and I have my parabola. All right, so here's a real-life question for you. Um, during halftime of a basketball game, a slingshot launches T-shirts at the crowd, which you've seen many times. Um, the velocity is 72 feet per second, and the T-shirt is caught 35 feet above the court. Um, how long will it take the T-shirt to reach its maximum height? What is the maximum height? What is the range? There's a bunch of questions that you can answer. Um, but the first thing we need to do is use our function. Um, in this case, it's going to be h equals that negative 16 t squared plus 72 t in feet after so many seconds. Um, because the t squared is negative, the parabola will open downward, and that will give us a maximum. Um, the t-shirt is launched from a height of 5 feet, so that's how I got c to be 5. Um, the upward velocity is 72 feet per second, um, so that's how I got um, b to be 72. And I made that mistake, this should be a 72 here, not just a 7. Oh, I really can't write. This should be just 72. Ah. All right. Um, then I can use the t to find t. So I can use the opposite, b over 2a, to find t. So the opposite of 72 over 2 times negative 16. That will give me 2.25. So that's the t coordinate. Then I plug that in to my equation. So negative 16, 2.25 times squared plus 72 times 2.25 plus 5. When I do all of that, that will give me y equaling 86. So the maximum, because this is finding our coordinate point, um, which is our, or our vertex, and that's our maximum, that will give us a height um, of 86 second, or sorry, 86 feet after 2.25 seconds, and I know that because if I were to write this as an ordered pair, um, our x comes first, which is really our t, and then we have 86, which is our y, or in other words, our h, um, so the height is uh, 86 feet, and it will take the 2.25 uh, seconds to reach that height, um, and then it peaks at 86 feet and is caught at 35 feet, which is something that we're told. So the height of the t-shirt um, would be then, I would say, 5. The height is greater than or equal to 5 and less than or equal to 86. And that would be the range. All right, it's your turn. Please graph the function y equals a negative x squared plus 4x minus 2 and then we will go over the correct answer in class. This is the end of your video. Please write the word angel on your paper um, because that was the first, or that is my dog that I have right now.